Hi there. So, for you, those of you who have been paying attention, yesterday Trimble released the new Trimble MX uh, X12 scanner, terrestrial laser scanner, and there was some questions around the form factor that it looks similar to another device, which is, to me, honestly, it's perfectly fine and it's nothing new in our industry. Look. Um, also, a couple of weeks ago, we'll get back to this in a second. A couple of weeks ago, Trimble released the new version of the of the MX9. So, an MX9 mobile mapping system. You can see that there's a ladybug camera in there, which is common to other mobile mapping systems. This is where I'm going with. In the last decade or so, it's actually the most normal things in mobile mapping systems across different brands to use different parts and different software from different vendors to make up a solution. So for those of you in the in the business, you know that this, these are the new uh, Regal lasers, which will give you, uh, yeah, just over two million points a second as you're as you're driving. And the same is true for the Regal mobile mapping system, which uses the Trimble Genesis antenna and the Trimble MU. And for the other brand, which I represented previously, they are also using different lasers in their mobile mapping system. As, a comp as companies uh, develop systems, you have to do what you have to do to build up your own solutions. That's just been part of our world for many, many years. The MX-50 is actually, I think, the, the first exp um, exception to all of this. Where, with the exception of the Ladybug camera, it has the Trimble IMU on it, the Trimble GNSS on it, and, for the first time ever, also the Trimble is a scanners on it. Which gives us a bit of uh, more control over stuff like calibration um, and also support and service for the whole for the whole for the whole system not being linked to a, a different vendor for scanners but as i say it doesn't really matter this uh, collaboration with different vendors to um, create a single solution it's nothing new in the business and i can see it moving forward for years to come especially on the software side for point clouds because if you think about it not very hardly uh, the majority of point cloud solutions to both share and stream point cloud data over the internet or between networks actually most of them are only, are only coming from two different vendors and none of these vendors are actually the usual two or three big players in hardware if you think about it so again nothing new uh, ultimately the market will accept and will consume uh, whatever product is best for people's businesses and um, other stuff like price pre and post sales support and consultancy um, will will and service will play a factor in all of this as they have in the past as they will in the future at least that's what i that's what i believe in you guys take care and have a great day